Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and over the years I've noticed quite a few people commenting on some of my videos, especially videos about my 9mm Rugers and Smith and Wessons, that I just I need to get rid of those guns and get myself a Glock, a good 9mm Glock. And they say this because you know Glock is the most popular, it's the most common. Uh, pistol out there for prepping purposes and they're right it is a very common pistol it's a very popular pistol it is very easy to come across parts and magazines and accessories for these pistols and so they are right however I do really like my Rugers and my Smith & Wessons and those are my go-to pistols but however I just recently got a 9mm Glock and I finally jumped on the 9mm Glock bandwagon and oh no <laughs> it's not this gun this is my Glock 22 this is a 40 cal in fact this is the gun that I take to the farm and and um, carry out there you know that's a 40 cal 40 the gun I'm talking about right now is this gun right here. The Glock P80, Lipsy's Distributor Exclusive, 9mm, the Pistol 80. Basically, this, let me zoom out just a little bit, basically this is a first generation Glock. It is not an exact replica, but it is pretty close, especially as far as looks go. And they named it the P80 based off of the original Austrian military contract pistol. Um, we know these guns as the Glock 17, but originally it was the Glock Pistol 80. I think that was the uh, official military designation. And man, this is just a good looking Glock. I'm not a huge Glock fanboy, but um, I, I am a bigger fan of the older Glocks. And I always kind of thought that it would be cool to have a first gen Glock uh, 17. Uh, just for collector's value, but uh, they're really hard to find and they're really expensive. But then Glock came out with the the P80 distributor exclusive, and I just had to have one. They came out with these back in De or back in September, rather. And uh, ever since they came out with them, I've wanted one. And there's a whole story about how I actually came into owning this one. But um, I've been trying to get one for a long time, and I definitely like it now. Of course side by side with my um, old let me zoom out here a little more uh, side by side with my old uh, second gen Glock 22 um, as you can see there are quite a few differences and I'll go through those in a different video and uh, you know I, I'll do several videos with this gun and uh, you know it's just a really good looking gun and um, I'm not a huge like I said I'm not a huge Glock fan um, but I always kind of wanted to get a 9mm Glock, but I was never a huge like Glock 17 fan, but I figured if I was ever going to get a full-size Glock 9mm, this would be the one to go, you know, because it's uh, distributor exclusive and it just, it just screams old school classic Glock or just an old school classic pistol. You know, I'm not a huge Glock fan, but I am a huge uh, military pistol fan, which is why, uh, or, you know, military or law enforcement, which is why I like the, the Smith and Wessons and the Rugers and the, the Berettas and the CZs, you know, I'm a big fan of big full size pistols, you know, old school full size nine millimeter pistols. Um, and this definitely fits that category. And, uh, this wins even more brownie points because it is, basically a, a, a Gen 1 look-alike. You know, it's based off of the original Glock pistol. And so for that, I thought it deserved a spot in my collection, and so far it has not disappointed. Haven't shot it yet, just picked it up today, but man, is that a good-looking pistol. I'll probably shoot it eventually, if I can ever get some more 9mm ammo. But anyway, that is the Glock 
P80, another addition to my collection. I'll do a, a designated review on it and a couple other videos on it in the near future to show it off a little bit more. But so far, so good. I like this pistol. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.